Let's see Jesus clearly for who he is in scripture. In Genesis, he's the seed of the woman. In Exodus, he's a Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the high priest. In Numbers, he's our pillar <laughs> of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he's the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he's our lawgiver. In Ruth, he's our kinsman redeemer. In 1st and 2nd Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king. In Ezra, he's our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of the broken walls. In Esther, he's our advocate. In Job, he's our ever living redeemer. In Psalms, he's the Lord our shepherd, so we shall not want. In Proverbs, he's our wisdom. In Ecclesiastes, he's our goal. In the Song of Solomon, he's our lover and our bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's the Prince of Peace. In Jeremiah and Lamentations, he's the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in the burning fiery furnace. In Hosea, he's the eternal husband forever married to the backslide. In Joel, he's the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. In Amos, he's our burden bearer. In Obadiah, he's our savior. In Jonah, he's the great foreign missionary. In Micah, he's the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum, he's our avenger. <laughs> in Habakkuk, he's the evangelist pleading for revival. In Zephaniah, he's the Lord mighty to save in Haggai he's the restorer of the lost heritage in Zechariah he's the fountain springing up with everlasting life in Malachi he's the son of the righteousness rising with healing in his wings in Matthew he's the Messiah in Mark he's the wonder worker in Luke he's the son of man in John he's the son of God in Acts, he's the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he's the justified. In 1st and 2nd Corinthians, he's the sanctified. In Galatians, he's the redeemer from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, he's the Christ of unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he's the God who supplies all our needs. In Colossians, he's the fullness of the God a bodily. In 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, he's our soon coming king. In 1st and 2nd Timothy, He's the mediator between God and man. In Titus, he's the faithful pastor. In Philemon, he's the friend of the oppressed. In Hebrews, he's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, he's the Lord who raises the sick. In 1st and 2nd Peter, he's the chief shepherd who shall soon appear. In 1st, 2nd and 3rd John, he is love. In Jude, he's the Lord coming with ten thousands of his saints. In Revelation, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of 